Yo, get excited because today we're doing something different in New York City and we're getting on a lot of boats and I'm going to show you all the places to have these adventures and views. No, not those types of views. These guys. Woo! Boats and bonus at the end, island. But if you don't know me, yo, I'm Christine with Where in the World is Seattle and I make travel videos every week to help you get up, get out, and go travel. So if you like to travel, consider subscribing. I'm so excited. Let's dive straight in with lobsters. That's not a good view. I don't know what it is. Oh, what is this? This is North River Lobster Company. Welcome to the west side of New York City. Oh, we're at 41st excited. and 12th, where we're about to get on a boat and do a lot of eating, optional drinking. Drink and my lobster roll, and I'm so, so excited because, actually, I'm with Ashley. We're basically gonna sail around and eat and drink and enjoy this view, check it out. That's right, your ticket onto this boat is getting you a one hour ride, and then you're ordering food and drinks on top of that. And a few helpful tips. One is, if it's a beautiful day, obviously sit upstairs and outside, but there's tons of options from sitting outside or even inside in the air conditioning. Second tip, it's not just lobster rolls. There's tons of other options. Pro tip for you, after you get back, the sailing is only one hour. If you've gone to the bathroom and you missed your opportunity to get off of the boat, you can actually just stay on the boat and keep ordering food and drinks like we did. This boat and all of the boats mentioned in this video will have tons of info in the description below, so you make sure you check it out. Cheers that like button if you're having some fun with me so far, and let's go catch a sunset. That was one of the best sunsets I've ever seen. This is an awesome one because it's a tingly experience, which is gifting experiences instead of things. I am so, so excited to get on a sailboat in New York City at sunset. <gasps> Look at this boat. 10 out of 10, level of excitement. 10 out of 10. Classic Harbor Line NYC has a few different kinds of boats, but if it is a nice night, you have to get on their scooter. It's a two hour sunset ride, and I was so excited to bring my boy Evis, who's never been on a sailboat before. Helpful tip, if you do choose this boat, it needs to be a really nice night out since you are completely exposed. There is nowhere to go and hide from the elements. So bring layers. One of the cool things, your ticket does come with one drink, but helpful to know. Amazing staff comes around three times for drink service. Get a couple chances to get your drink on. Is that? Yes, I had a blast. Most people get off the ferry than just get back on, but let's try something different. Genuinely curious about is what restaurants or other fun things are there to do that's right next to the ferry before we jump back on? That might be a better option than something like Dairy Queen. Let's go find out. That was unexpected. I thought it'd be a little bit of a walk to get there, but it's no walk at all. As soon as you get out of the subway, it literally drops you off right where the ferry picks up. South Ferry is your stop, and the best thing about it, this ferry is free. And on this adventure today, Hello. you're Captain Boomies. <laughs> Here's a helpful tip. Most people sit on the right side or the starboard side of the boat if you want a view of the Statue of Liberty as you're going to Staten Island. But here's something else that's interesting. Back of the bus. It's actually gonna be the front of the bus. And what that means is the back of the boat becomes the front and vice versa. In other words, this boat doesn't do a U-turn, which is kind of a unique thing in the world of boats. Oh, tip, you have to get off. Let me write it back. You have to get off, and then you have to get back in line and get back on. But we're headed out to explore, and there are kind of four things of note that are on the other side. Immediately when you get out is the mall. The newer mall is right there. And, ooh, of note, they do have a Shake Shack there. If you like Shake Shack, I do. And beyond that, a few blocks away, there are a few restaurants that are of interest. And if you go a little bit further, there is a brewery a half a mile away. But we decided to check out one of the restaurants, which was Ruddy and Deeds. Translation, it's good. <laughs> so would I recommend stopping? Why not? The other reason why is because this ferry is 24 hours and runs frequently, like every 15 minutes or every 30 minutes, depending on the time of day, unlike this next ferry I'm about to tell you about. Another boat, another island. 
Island another day. <laughs> Make this trip yours. It is just three dollars to ride this ferry right next to the Staten Island Ferry at the 10th Street spot. And you're bringing it over. Oh, you can see it coming in right now. And it is like a couple minute ride to come over. And it's three dollars and you're only paying that once. What are the things to do on this island? What do you do on Governor's Island? You have a couple options. One of them I'm enjoying right now. We have Island Oyster. It is literally right at the entrance over here. And they have a really great selection of food and a really great bar and a selection of drinks over there. You also have kayaking. You see these people behind me, they are kayaking on this island. It is not too far away, but the main thing that most people do here is what you can see behind me on this side, which is riding a bike. Blazing Saddles is here, and most people love to rent bikes and ride around the island. And maybe, like I did, have a drink on the other side. If you're not afraid to have this next adventure with me, then let's get on a jet ski. And I specifically chose Empire City Water Sports, which I'll admit is a bit of a drive out to Brooklyn. But I specifically chose this spot because a lot of jet ski places either require that you are with a tour or really limit the area you're allowed to jet ski in. And I really wanted to go fast. Fun fact, if you go during certain times, info in the description below, it is only $99 to be able to rent a jet ski. And look how pretty it is outside. Here comes the captain. Yeah! 10 minutes away is Coney Island, so bam! Let's get some hot dogs. Level of excitement? Hi, I like hot dogs. Mint, juice, delicious, one done. I am doing a taste test. You are also doing a taste test. Okay. It's pretty meaty. Great. Next. That's just weird. That's super weird. No, scale of one to ten, if regular hot dog is a ten. Yeah, the consistency is wrong. I would actually say that that is a negative ten. That's like not a one out of ten. That's like a negative ten out of ten. Like I'm not taking another bite of that. Don't hand that back to me. <laughs> Hopefully you haven't lost your appetite for boats because I'm actually really excited to take you on this next one because it's so easy, so affordable, and they have a lot of options. But welcome to the Circle Line Ferry. Located at Pier 83 in Midtown, and if you've been listening closely, you'll be like, wait a minute, isn't that next to the lobster boat? And it is, and yes, I did go back for a second time, and I tried the other lobster roll, but that's not what we're talking about right now. They have tons of boats and tons of departures, but I did the $20 for a regular ticket, $30 for a premier ticket for a one hour ride. This was super fun. One of the tips I have for you, I would say if it is a beautiful day and you plan on being outside the entire time, it is definitely worth it to be on this top deck with a premium ticket. Otherwise, if it's not that crowded, just get a normal ticket. It's fine. It's almost island time, but I gotta tell you something that's right next door to this that you might wanna check out because I love logistically close things. 0.2 miles or a five minute walk away is the Intrepid Museum. One of my favorite things about this museum is having the city skyline in the background and being on a boat. One of the things I was wondering about was kayaking on the water. And this is one of the spots that I've had my eye on. It's a pretty small space of where you can go around, but it still looks really interesting. Info in the description below. Welcome to Little Island. This really cool spot is a public space that's located near the meatpacking district. They have performances, and it's also just a really cool space to walk around. Ooh, New York City by boat. I hope you enjoyed this adventure with me today. If you did, choose that like button, consider subscribing, and tell me in the comments below which boat you would get on, and I will see ya in the next adventure. Ciao. No better way to work off the workout that you didn't work.